back to the long jump for under 20 girls final. Just land up, Klerger of Haiti. Competitor 300, a 5'11 performer coming into the Karifta Games. For a medal, you suspect she'll have to go better than that. Yes, close to a meter better. Troubling the five meter mark with that effort. We jump from the pair of Haiti up next for the runway. Nadia Smith in the eyes. Heading to the coach corner to get that advice on what she needs to fix, and coach is going to give her a heads up, and she should make the adjustment, and you should see some kind of improvement. Renia Smith of the Cayman Islands. Different body physique from the Haitian we saw a while ago. Smith, big girl, will cover ground at, with long strides, I believe, and uh, has a chance to get right out there in the long jump. That's Kareem Street Thompson territory. Keen is doing one of the best long jumpers in the world and a fine sprinter as well. So if she's watching Kareem Street Thompson videos, she'll have a template to work with for excellence. Her teammate Andrew Stone won the under 20 boys long jump here. And the Kareem Street Thompson, a two time Austin Seeley Award winner, 1989 and 1990. And she sails out into the pit. Let's see if she gets the white flag. No, she doesn't. Thought it was close on the board. A full effort for the Caymanian. A lot for the coach to work with, though. Good speed and a short run and uh, no lift there. So if they can over time, maybe not today. Tweak the, the run up and tweak the takeoff. There's lots of distance there for Smith of the Cayman Islands to exploit in the future. The triple jump silver medalist coming up. Nanesha Lubin of the Bahamas. Shades, warm day in the Thomas A. Robinson. Always a touch of style about the Bahamians. Watch them walk into Penn wearing dark glasses in 2014. Here's Lubin on the runway. Tall, strong, powerful. She sprints down the runway. And let's fly the Bohemian. Well over five meters, gets the white flag. Yes. The Bahamas always a jumping stronghold in the Caribbean. Lots of high jumpers, long jumpers, and triple jumpers. Both men and women over time, and Lubin has shown some speed in the Crypto Games as well. Looks like she has uh, a combination worth nurturing for the future. Definitely. You know, we had the greats like the great Levan Sands inside there who was, who was holding it down for a long, long, very long time. Superman Sands, 1992 Frank Rutherford, bronze in the triple jump in the Olympic Games. And of course, this is Dawkins, Jamaica, excellent in the triple jump. Jaden Dawkins, triple jump champion, beating, looping, dethroning Casey Hudson of French Guiana. Searching for a Karifta double. That was very close on the board. And it gets the red flag. Tall and powerful with good control speed on the runway. That first gold medal tasted so nice. Uh, working on a second one. The Guyanese trying to stop her. But Dawkins looks good. Amelie Ponchery of French Guiana coming up.
this is the time when athletes like the stadium to get on their feet and they like to hear the music and the noise and get them crunk and get them started because it's, it's a different energy that they can release when they're on this long jump runway. Yeah, that's going to be a red flag. Well over. Wasn't even close. And Diction A. Bruce involved in the high jump earlier. I'd love to get an update as to exactly how that one finished. We know that the Jamaican Kevin secured the gold medal. Bruce, a high jumper first, but her coach at high school, Coach Jadon Hibbert, the world junior indoor record holder at triple jump, and up when you see high jump and long jump combined in one meet, there's a triple jump coming in an athlete's future. Definitely, and the confidence is there with it. The confidence goes a long way with it because she knows if she's doing that many events and she's successful at it, she knows that, hey, I'm having fun at these games. 504 in the first round, Dejane Bruce. Now jumping in her correct position. And once again gets over the five meter mark. Gets the white flag. Looks bigger than 504. Tall and slim with powerful legs. Good ingredients for long jumping and uh, high jumping and triple jumping. Has the same type of build as Shanika Ricketts, the world silver medalist and the Commonwealth champion. And for that matter, Rojas of Venezuela, the world and Olympic champion. When you condition the body, everything else is going to take care of itself. And I think she's well conditioned. 5.34 meters, that last effort for Dejane Bruce of Jamaica. So that will definitely move her up in the standings. Her teammate listed for this event, Adesia Hodge, last is on the 17 champion. Of course, out of the championships because of a turned ankle in practice. 483 in the opening round for Avria Smith. If she is to make it into the final eight, she will need a better effort. Gets a lot of height there, but comes right down and maybe below the five meter mark once again. The official's white flag fluttering in the direction of the jumpers into their run-up. And so it's like a slight negative wind out there at trackside for the long jumpers. So that makes it a bit more complicated for them with their run-ups. We are in the second round of the under-20 girls long jump final. Getting to the closing stages of this round. Just a few competitors to come. And we're awaiting the mark for that young lady from the British Virgin Islands, Aria Smith. 4.87. It is an improvement on the 4.83 from the opening round. But you don't get the feeling that 4.87 will be enough to get her into the top eight and three further jumps. But she still has one round to come. Marry my Durante of Martinique. Steps up for battle. Second round effort. Shows great speed down the runway, but takes off well behind the board. And uh, still manages to threaten the five meter mark. Needs to go for it. One more round before the cutoff comes. She wants to be on the right side of that line so she can get three more tries. And uh, clearly a run up needs retooling because she's taking off from behind the board and of course that pesky headwind that's down at trackside down in the long jump has to learn to deal with that very quickly is she to get 
more tries in the long jump final. Two competitors to come, 5 0 and 9 as she gets over the 5 meter mark, Durante of Martini. And this now will get to the penultimate competitor in the second round of the under 20 girls long jump final. Tannery Vitalis of Guadeloupe. Followed her first round effort, needs a mark on the board. Vitalis of Guadeloupe stretches to the board, takes off well behind. Let's see, she should get the white flag. She does get the white flag, but it's not a mark that will seriously threaten the top eight. And the white flag blowing in the face of the jumpers as they come down to the pit. So again, there's a headwind and something interesting in the pit struggled with her core strength to stay upright so she wouldn't fall backwards and cut down the measurable distance. So great physical fitness, great core strength for the Guadeloupe jumper. And here are the tutorial. On the runway, run, get to the board, lift. When you're in the air, fly. Four point six five meters. One competitor to come. Casey Hudson of French Guiana, final jumper in the round, and it looks as if Hudson has passed. If we're looking at Gianna Paul, who will start round number three, Casey Hudson, champion in the triple jump last year, silver medalist in the long jump last year in Kingston, bronze medalist in the triple jump this time around. And we're looking at Gianna Paul, followed her first round effort, 5.22 on her second round. This is her third round effort, again taking off behind the board. Similar distance to what she produced in round number two. Hoping for an improvement to try and move up the rankings and challenge for another Carifta medal. A little tidy in the air, but a solid run and good leap off the board. And here goes into council for refinements. So in practice on Thursday last, a bright spark going about her business in a professional way. Looks like she's behind the board and adds more than 20 centimeters. That's how wide the board is to the deficit. Of distance in the sand. 5.03 meters. So her best remains at 5.22. And Ricardo, reach into my for my stopwatch to uh, split these four by fours. They set for ten o'clock, ten eighteen on Big Ben. I think an announcement came about ten minutes ago that it would be at ten thirty. Here is Lynn Antoine of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Mm. Don't think that will do it. Or will it? Yeah, it looks a little bit better from this angle. Reminds me of former US sprinter Muna Lee, an Olympic finalist at 200 meters, but without that breakneck speed just yet. And then she increases her speed, but this is dangerous as well. For sure, Muna Lee in that Beijing 100 final as well, fourth, just missed out on a 200 medal. And here, Antoine. It's out there now. We await her distance 498. Next on the runway, competitor 491, Janet against Trinidad and Tobago 593. Her best in the opening round. Here's the guns. Third round effort in the under 20 girls long jump. And she gets another big one out there. Would love to be over six meters here 
at the Charybda Games. And when you consider that she is competing against the wind, these are quality efforts. Watched her sprint at the Trinidad and Tobago trials. And that's limited on the runway here. Good Was speed. on their 4.1 team last night as well. Good lift. Uh, manager Jehu Gordon, the world champion, highly over both her and Gianna Paul. And you can see why. Mandel Williams, the long jump coach with the Trinidad and Tobago team himself. An outstanding long jumper in his time, 574. So not as good as her best, 593. But two jumps in the five. 7 meter range so establishing a consistent base for the next three rounds april Adderley of the bahamas 508 or best that came in the second round a fall jump to open the competition looking for an improvement to confirm her top eight position Adderley of the bahamas Hits the board well. Once again, maybe just over that five meter mark, gets the white flag. Stewart, the last of the great female Bahamian long jumpers. And uh, looks like they're rebuilding a more of in this event as well. Nice wide open sprint strides. Doesn't peek down at the board, right on it as well. Uh, goes forward not to fall back to smudge out some distance. And deeply outside the pit. And Again, goes in for some tweaking and a little bandage on the left hamstring. Little continues to take peeking out at the bottom. So some wear and tear in a three-day meet with a, a busy time schedule and 5.24. An improvement for her. And you can tell every time each athlete goes to their corner, they get tips and they go back to the runway and they improve. So it shows that the coaching student technique works very well. Just land up. Clucker of Haiti. 4.7. Zero. Her best effort came in the second round. So announcement just coming through. No heats for the 4.400 on the 20 boys. They go straight to a final. Not surprised to be honest. As Clucker fights to get to that five meter mark but she sees a red flag and her best will remain 4.70 goes across makes a query marches off with purpose Here is the Caymanian, Brenia Smith. 5.21 in the opening round. Falder, second round effort. In the mix to be in the final eight. But she wants to improve to guarantee her place. And this is her third and final attempt in the preliminary stage of the competition. Remember, the top eight will get three more jumps tall and rangy quite fast on the runway the monte hole the 100 champion said how much potential there is in the cayman islands she's part of that smith she is a 560 jumper and even against the wind she could have more to give final event of the morning session now the long jump final for under 20 girls we're in the third round the Caymanian searching for the pit Renia Smith trying to improve on her best effort so far of 5.21 meters yes steady on the runway gave a big effort this of course is the last round of the first half of the final so time to go for it Chris and she certainly gave it a good effort up to see 5.43 let's see if that comes back on the board for Smith of the Cayman Islands. Went for it. In a time like this, you have to put it all out there. You know, you can't save anything. And she basically is looking like, I have to put it out there. I have to do what I have to do and make it happen. And there you see. 
5.12 meters, so not an improvement for her. 5.21, her best from the opening round. Here is Lanesha Lubin of the Bahamas, triple jump silver medalist, trying to make it into the final eight of the long jump. She has a 5.43, that should be more than good enough to get her there. But she's thinking about a second medal at these Karifta games. Such a powerful looking at the Lubin. She flies down the runway, stutter steps into the board and gets over five meters again. Went for it, bubbling with energy, overran the board, hit the brakes, cut the momentum and the jump with the best intentions. Right. I'm sure she's gonna hear a lot of that from her coach in the corner. Her upright and stable until she can move forward and sideways so as not to smudge out distance by falling back. We await her distance for the third and final round. Here we go. 543 her best before that last effort. And this one comes up at 488. So 543 remains her best. Dawkins searching for another gold medal. 532 in round one. Out of the medals now. And goes and gets a big one. That will advance her in the standings for sure. And Jalen Dawkins of Jamaica gets a quality effort in. A 6-1-2 jumper this year, ranked number five in the world at the under 20 level. Number two in the Nakak region. And already with a Karifta gold medal. And a stepping up with a solid effort in round number three. Measurement being made for Dawkins, the Triple jump winner, tall and powerful, 5.89. That puts her in second position behind Janae DeGans of Trinidad and Tobago at 5.93. Strengthens her position in this long jump. Crisis for Pulkery of French Guyana. Third and final attempt coming up for her already. No mark in her first two efforts. Has to get something on the board to have a shot of being in the final eight. Bounces up the front way. Oh, that's very close on the board. The flag is red. Not a great morning for her. The officials have offered to her a chance to look at the mark. Board 20 cm deep, in front of it a strip of plasticine as Dejeuner Bruce, the outstanding prospect, steps up for her third attempt. 5-3-4 row number two. 5-34, the fourth best we have seen. This is her third round effort. Can she advance in the rankings? She's involved in high jump action this morning. Eases down the runway. And that looks an improvement if she gets the white flag. It's very close. The officials have a close look. And the red flag has been raised. They offer her the chance to have a look. It's a good courtesy. So she can see what they've seen. Takes another look from uh, the front side of the board. Walks away, convinced. Or not. Miss, are you sure? 
it's okay for an athlete to question it because at the end of the day, they want to make sure that, hey, there was no mistakes made. Do we need another eyes on this? Or, or you can confirm again once more because the athlete want to make sure that their mark is good or they want to make sure, hey, you didn't just take something away from me that I have to live with later on here and that it was a good mark. Ryan Smith of the British Virgin Islands, 487 at her best so far. I think now with the junk and the music revving up and the crowd getting coming inside now, I think now these athletes will definitely start to feel the effects of that adrenaline rush and what they look for in the competition. You know, we look for excitement. We look for that adrenaline. We look for anything that's going to give us that edge or that bring us that adrenaline on us. We are ready and open for it. So I, I know now that you're going to really start to see some great performances. I'll do a survey to see if it affects the overseas athletes as well as the Bahamians in the same positive way. Well, I'm pretty sure it will. I'm sure it will because they know coming in, in the stadium, they already knew that this junk canoe was going to be there. So they, they feel like we don't get this all the time everywhere. So having a little something on you, you if, if you tried to conquer in the Bahamas and you went in our waters, then it's going to help you. And I'm sure everybody has already had a taste of the conch and had some water some way or the other. Come and take the lunch plan. Conch fritters. <laughs> for the final session. Yeah, this is Araya Smith of the British Virgin Islands. Needs to be over 520 if she is to advancing this competition. Her best so far, 4.87 meters. She needs a big effort in round three. Hasn't looked like she's gonna jump 520 so far. Has to reach down within and find the motivation to produce something big right now. That is herself. Starts her run. Take off behind the board. That's not good enough. Far from good enough. And now she exits the competition with that effort. Eliminated. Big wrap on her left leg around the thigh. And uh, maybe not quite at the physical best here. But came out to give it her best for her country. That's something you tilt your hat to. Gets up, that little look of resignation, and here she is getting up. She's done her best. That's all she can do. Important to watch as well at the back end of this third round, Casey Hudson, the silver medalist from last year, the triple jump champion from last year, triple jump bronze medalist this year, passed her second round effort. We did see her take a first round effort. Not sure what the mark was on that first round effort. And we'll be watching to see if she does take the runway for round number three. But we're two competitors away from her. This is Durante of Martinique, 509 her best. That came in the second round. At this stage, she is either in eighth or ninth, depending on what the first round mark from Casey Hudson of French Guiana was. But to guarantee her place, she needs to be over 520. Way behind the board she takes off from, and I'm afraid that might not be good enough. Lots of speed on the runway, ran with purpose towards the board, but somehow that pesky headwind may be the reason somehow missed the board by a considerable margin. She misses the final three jumps. She'll know where she missed the distance. Even from that angle, her takeoff foot behind the board, that could cost her dearly. Right Spirit, though, gave her best, and there's a tick mark for that in the checkbox, 5.19. That's close. Cranks up some distance. That is really close. As I said, we're not sure what the first round effort was for Hudson. Hudson of French Guiana. As we look at competitor 291, Tillery Vitalis of Guadeloupe. 465 her best. A long way away from 
advancing to the final eight. Hudson last in the order. If she reappears, triple jumping is violent on the body. Maybe some wear and tear there. Here's Vitalis. Third round effort. Long jump on the 20 girls final. Lots of stretching there. Still didn't get to the board. And once again, that one definitely not good enough. The flag's just outside the stadium blowing toward the long jumpers. I wonder if that's coming into. Yeah, the white flag from the official is standing up straight, blowing in the faces of the long jumpers. And that could be the cause of all of these jumps where the takeoff is well before the board, like this one. That's 20 cm back from the board. And whatever she gets measured for at 20 centimeters, that's what she could have jumped for had she reached the board in time. Lifter left leg hanging as well cost her some distance 423 so probably can add another 20 to the 20 you spoke about Hubert. yes and maybe halfway up the board so 30 that before 53 that still wouldn't be enough to get her through to the final though Casey Hudson not taking a final jump based on what we have Janine de Gans of Trinidad and Tobago leading with 5.93 meters ahead of Jaden Dawkins of Jamaica 5.89 Denisha Lubin of the Bahamas, 5.43. Dejane Bruce of Jamaica, 5.34. April Andy of the Bahamas, 5.24. Brenia Smith of the Cayman Islands, 5.21. Just behind Gianna Paul of Trinidad and Tobago, 5.22. That's the top seven. Durante of Martinique has a 5.19. And we're not sure what the first round effort was for Kitsia Hudson of French Guiana. We take a break when we come back. We'll confirm all that for you by then. We'll be closer to seeing the final eight in action. <laughs> 